This is Eugene Padrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Chromebook 11 G5 touchscreen that I'm going to show you how to replace the keyboard assembly, battery, and the touchscreen assembly. A uh, few words before we get this started. The HP Chromebook 11s, they can get confusing. Uh, first you have to know the version number. This is the Generation 5 and then the Generation 5 has two versions in itself, the Education Edition and the Non-Education Edition, just the standard version. And then after that, each of those versions has a touch and a non-touch version. So this is a HP Chromebook 11 G5 touch version. And the best way to figure that out is the for the G5 for the non-education edition version, the touch screen has its the touch screen is separate from the LCD itself. It's a clear glass front on there. For the education edition version, the touch layer is integrated into the LCD screen so you will have a plastic bezel around it that you will see. All right, uh, another way to identify this is to look on the bottom. And uh, this happens to be the consumer version. The consumer version will say HP Model 11-V. The educate or the version that usually is in school, it will say Model 11-G5, and it may or may not say Touch. If it says EE after the G5, that's a different version and has different parts and a different procedure. So hope that was not too confusing. All right, next I'm going to show the tools that we're going to use to for this. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one is the size. We have a smaller PH0 electronics screwdriver. A pair of metal tweezers to manipulate cables and remove adhesive tape and there's a prying tool. A metal spudger that we also use as a prying tool and a hobby knife or exacto knife. We also use that as a prying tool and to lift up adhesive tape. So since this is a touch screen version, what we want to do is disconnect the battery first before disconnecting the touch screen because the touch screen is very sensitive to electrostatic discharge and because of that I will show you how to replace the keyboard assembly and the battery while we're doing the touch screen removal. So first thing we want to do is close the laptop and flip it on the bottom. On the bottom there will be 11 screws that will be removed and you can count them here and four of those screws will be under these rubber feet. So the rubber feet rest like this on the Chromebook so you need to lift up the rubber feet uh, the best tool I found this is the spudger tool. Just kind of grab at the edge and just lift them up. And then once you do that, the screws will be removed, revealed. So there's 11 screws on the bottom. I already removed them right here to save some time. And once we do that, we remove the keyboard assembly. To do that, we flip the laptop back over and we either use the spudger tool or the hobby knife to get into between the, the dark plastic side and the keyboard assembly itself and just start lifting it up like this. Uh, for me it's going to be a little bit easier than usual just because I've removed this keyboard once before already. So first time this keyboard assembly is removed it's going to be a little bit harder. But uh, just it can be done. Just go around and if you get stuck at some point, just go to a different place and come back to the place you get stuck at. And the same. Try to get a good angle here. And then just keep going around. Lifting up the keyboard. Okay, so once you get close to the end, you have to be careful to how to lift the keyboard out. So you lift the keyboard out, and then there will be two cables on the bottom. So it, once it's released, there will be two cables on the bottom that we have to release. Uh, there's a plastic bar here, so we 
use our hobby knife to lift up this plastic bar and use our hobby knife to lift up this plastic bar here. So there's two plastic bars and we pull them out and that's the keyboard assembly. So if your keyboard assembly is damaged, uh, you take this one out and put a new one in and we sell this part. So I'll give directions how to find it from us down a little bit later. The second part is we want to disconnect the battery before we do anything with the touch screen. And to do that, you there's the battery cable right here. You just use your fingertips to pry the battery cable out. Now, if all you wanted to do is to replace the screen assembly after that, that's all you need to do. If you want to replace the battery, you have to do a couple more things. Um, there's a we have to free up the battery from this cable so there's a plastic bar that you lift up like this and lift up this board and the battery will be free so to remove the battery there's three screws that we have to remove there's one one two and three so screw those screws out and remove the battery if you want to replace it Here's the part number. Uh, replace with HP Spare 859357-855. So we provide this battery also and please contact us regarding that. Now, uh, next is removing the screen assembly. And for that, we have to remove two screws at the bottom here. One screw here and one screw here and they're hiding behind some plastic screw covers so we use our hobby knife to lift up the plastic screw covers now once again I lift I've done this before so everything's a little bit looser it'll be a little bit harder first time around and two okay next thing is to remove two screws at the bottom one here and one here um, what I observe with these is these screws are extremely easy to strip so what I would do is when you're first engaging the screw is use a lot of force to engage the screw so it comes out and that that works so remove one screw here and one screw here after this we can pop the screen assembly off and once again, um, I found that the hobby knife works best at the beginning. So kind of dig into that seam and see if you can gain some traction to snap it off. And just even though I've done this before, it's still can be a little bit tricky. And in this way, after getting enough practice, it does become a, a little bit easier. So what I do is I try different tools and see which one works at the best at the moment. and we're getting some traction on the side so I'm going to keep going this direction for a little while and now we go at the top again and I'm having some trouble on this part so I'm going to go to a different part see if I can get some tr better traction at a different part and looks like I cracked this assembly but uh, if you're removing the screen it's most likely already going to be cracked so you can Hopefully, do better than me. First time I opened up, I didn't crack it, but second time wasn't as lucky.
Okay. So, once you do this, there's another seam at the bottom that has to be loosened up and right here and we loosen it up here. If you have trouble loosening it in this seam up, you can use the hobby knife to open it up. Okay, and then once we do this, we lower the screen assembly and this the opening it up is the hardest part. Once it's opened up, it's not that difficult. There's uh, two connections on the bottom that we have to remove. First one is we lift up the adhesive tape, and this is the video connector, and then slide out the connector. I'm going to show you how to put it back in. When you want to slide back in, you'll feel but not hear two clicks. So that's that. And then next thing we want to do is this is the touch screen connection and what we want to do is lift up this plastic tab and remove the touch screen connection for uh, when connecting the touch screen connection back again uh, got to make sure that the white stripe is straight with the connector so we put it back in and we lower down the plastic bar so it's the white stripe is straight with the connection all right, and we've removed the screen assembly, which is now cracked because I was not as careful as I should have been. So this is the replacement screen assembly for the HP Chromebook 11 G5 Touch version. That is not the educational edition version. Uh, we do have this part available in stock, and to find it from us, go to our website is www.screensurgeons.com if you're working with a school or a school district there will be a link at the top that says schools and a short form for you to fill out if you want to buy it directly from the website there will be a search form on the front page and they'll just type in hp chromebook 11 g5 touch and the right screen will come up on the search form and um, we do have volume discounts for school, we, schools, and we do sell parts all over the world. So if you live outside the United States, please follow the regular checkout procedure or contact us directly. And also, finally, this exact same toolkit comes for free with this screen assembly, so you can remove the screen assembly yourself. Okay, to put everything back together, reconnect the two connectors like I showed you. Put the screen assembly back in, then reconnect the battery, and if you removed this part, reconnect this part, then um, put the two screws on at the bottom, and put the screw covers back in, then snap the keyboard assembly on top, and put the 11 screws in at the bottom. And for the keyboard assemblies, these two cables on the bottom need to be disconnected. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrudkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.